Welcome everyone, I'm here with the handicapper Dave Golokov and he will be giving us a preview on the game between the Dallas Stars and the Pittsburgh Penguins. So Dave, I hope you're doing great. The Dallas Stars have been doing decent so far. Tell us what they have got for this matchup. Well, the Stars have been uh, okay so far, yeah. They, uh, you know, they have uh, a couple of uh, decent outings. Uh, I believe one, one and one, you know, one good win one overtime loss against a quality team and then uh, the loss to Nashville. So uh, not bad for the Stars. I think it's a, a good start for them. They're trying to push for a playoff spot. And, um, you know, they could very well be Pittsburgh's toughest test to date. Um, you know, Pittsburgh has uh, played, uh, you know, two teams so far. They've won both games. All, all the games are at home. You know, uh, I guess I should say Anaheim was probably their toughest test, but Anaheim's got some goaltending issues right now. But the Stars come in with a good offense, a decent goaltender, and uh, they could really push Pittsburgh a little bit more than most people think. You got to lay a buck seventy here with Pittsburgh, so you really got to be sure that you th that the Penguins win this game before you lay that number. And I'm not so sure. So, Dave, do you expect the Penguins to continue to dominate as the season unfolds? Um, well, we'll have to see. I mean, right now they started about as good as they as they could, as good as they could, uh, if that rhymes. Well, it does rhyme. I didn't mean to, but it sounds good. Um, the Pens so far, you know, we talked about them uh, in the off season and the fact that their offense was probably going to struggle. You know, they lost James Neal, lost a bunch of other guys, UC Okun. That's not been the case. They've looked great so far. Uh, scored six against Anaheim you know, uh, uh, scored a bunch in their second game as well. This offense has looked great. The issue with Pittsburgh in terms of their long-term success, in terms of the playoffs, is their goaltending, and that's still an issue. So, uh, I mean, when you look at this game, I'm not sold on Pittsburgh just yet. I think their offense has looked great so far. Uh, I'm not going to lay the buck 70 here. What I'm going to do is recommend the over, because uh, the Penn's defense has been flimsy. The Stars come in with a good offense. You take a look at Kerry Lettinen and his track record against Pittsburgh, something like a 321 GAA in his last six versus the Pens. Pens have a good offense. So I think you've got uh, two good offenses, two suspect defenses, two questionable goaltenders. And uh, when you do the math there, the logic to me is on the over. So there you have it. Take the over 5.5 at the Greek. Thanks for your time, Dave. And this is Sylvia for SBR Picks. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.